Okay, How do so, we get started? Well, we're going to roast them. So what you do is, first of all, you um, find some beets. They can be much bigger than this, by the way. So depending on the size is going to be depending on how long you roast them in the oven. You take off the leaves just okay. like that. You wash them very well because they're full of dirt. Now save those leaves because you can boil those leaves and um, and make them greens, which is also yeah, very good for you. Yummy. The, oh, really? um, the also the water from the beets when you if you're going to boil them is also very good for you, and the water from uh, the greens is very good for you. Full and full of is um, the juice of minerals. good for you if you get it on you. The juice is not good for you if you get it on you, and if you should do that, um, I would say take blot it as quickly as you can. Put cold water on it, take it off, and then find some oxyclean. <laughs> so um, there are two ways. There are more than one way to skin a beet. And we're going to do it the way where you keep the skin on the beet, roast them, and then you peel them after you've dropped them in some water. Or you can use a vegetable peeler and mm -hmm. peel off the skin, which is a lot cleaner. You're not going to get as messy. Cube them in about quarter-inch cubes. Drop, um, drizzle some olive oil and salt and pepper, and then put them in little um, aluminum foil boats. I kind of, mm. I kind of do like a little boat like this on a cookie so sheet. You play. A little bit, and it kind of roasts them better. But today, we're gonna have their skin on them. We're gonna wrap them like baked potatoes, just like this. I've never done this way before. It's well, interesting. Either way, you could do it. It's absolutely fine. This way is a little messier. Right. Just like that, you're gonna. Before you wrap them, actually, you'd want to poke them with a fork. I can do it like this too, because you really want to get some holes in there. Potatoes, exactly, yeah, you yeah, poke them exactly same, same way. Free, um, you would have put some olive oil and some salt and pepper on them as well. I did not do that. You put them in the oven, and you're going to keep them in there at about uh, 400 degrees for 30 to 50 minutes, really wow. depending yeah, on the size of the yeah. beet. I'd say just check on them. And what you can do is, just like I poked them with a fork, get in there and poke them, and if it goes through like a baked potato, you'll You're know done. they're ready. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Edie, then, are you oh, amazed huh? by my talents in the kitchen so far? Oh, very good. Yeah. yeah. I know. You're a real star. Very good. Very good. In the then kitchen. see, okay, oh, wait. Now we're going to take the skin off. Uh-oh. But I need, you need I need, help. um... Yes. So go. what you're going to do is once they come out, you want to take them out of the aluminum foil, drop them in some cool water so they're uh, cool enough to the touch. <laughs> oh, okay, doctor. Here we go. Here we go. In it goes. Wiggle, wiggle. Here we go. Good. All oh, right. It's like Set. I'm watching mash all of a sudden. All right. The reason you're going to do go. this is because otherwise it's going to all the beet juice and the color will get all over your skin. You guys really are Perfect. a good team. Perfect. Good. Here we are. Here we go. That's Thank the you. only Thank reason you. I well was done. here today. <laughs> so look, you just go like this, and the skin comes off, and it's. Oh, fits. so that is super easy. It is easy. Oh, it's just is very. Yeah. Easy. It's just a little messier. That's all, right. you know, because you're going to cut them before. If you cut them before, it's not going to be all over your hands. Okay. okay. Then you're going to dice these up until about quarter inch cubes, and you know what? By the way, use all the different beautiful colored beets: mm. the red ones, the yellow ones, the orange ones. They're gorgeous. How do we do you the dressing? You cut them up. Well, you know what? Do me a favor. Mix these beets in here. Uh -huh. well. There you go. Just mix them together. So and the dressing is. Dijon mustard, honey, balsamic vinegar. No, we already have one that's done. Oh, garlic, garlic olive oil, oil, and then you toss it together. If okay. no, that's goat cheese that goes goat on top. Cheese. If you do not want the garlic in there, don't add the garlic. If you don't want the honey, don't put the honey in there. But why not? Then you just toss it together. Sure. It tastes great. Just like that. Go ahead and put it over a bed of arugula. Okay. And then add some, some goat cheese. Look at. Like that. Beautiful, Mark. I made my bed today. Yes, you did. Mm. You made your bed of beets. There it is. Okay. And some pine that. nuts. This is just such like a like a satisfying mm -hmm. yeah. dish it's in nice. the summer. I it's knew it so would savory. be for you when you're I so when good, I came Mark. up yeah, with this so idea. He's really good at this. Delicious. Oh. oh, wait. Hang on. Not with that. Not with that dirty hand. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Now go. Now go. You're good. You're good. <laughs> If you don't want to have the beets, you can do it with heirloom tomatoes. Okay, mm. perfect. Because heirloom tomatoes, so many tomatoes are in season right now. Okay. Shanti actually brought these from her garden. They're we beautiful. We need you in OR4, okay? Okay. For another, you got another procedure. Okay, thank you well, so very much. I need some sustenance.